This video will take you through the occupier side of FixedFlow's Build to Rent system. This is where your occupiers and reporting parties will report maintenance issues to you. This could be a concierge at one of your development sites. Occupiers can report both communal and private faults within the unit or the development. Occupiers will need to access your FixedFlow URL to report issues. We have many ways to help you promote your FixedFlow URL to your occupiers to increase the usage of FixedFlow. Please check out our free course on how to best promote FixedFlow to your occupiers on FixedFlow Academy to find out more about this. It is important to note that if you have an iframe set up or an integration with a portal, then your occupiers will report maintenance issues through that instead. FixedFlow is a white labelled product, so your site will have your logo and colour scheme, so it won't look like it's come from a third party. It is a cloud-based product, so occupiers can report maintenance issues using any device. For example, a mobile phone, an iPad or a laptop. FixedFlow is available in over 40 languages. The language tool sits on the top left hand corner of the site. If an occupier clicks on English UK, they can see all of the languages available to them. If they select a language, the entire system will pull into that language for them and they can report the maintenance issue in that chosen language. Everything will be translated back into English for you. As you can imagine, this can really help to break down any language barriers you may face. The welcome message at the top of the page is customisable as desired. When reporting a maintenance issue, the occupier has two options. Firstly, they can report the maintenance issue using the search bar at the top of the page. As they type in the issue to find it, you can see that the icons will filter down to help them find the issue quicker. Alternatively, they can use the icons underneath to select and drill down to let you know exactly what the maintenance issue is. These icons can be added and removed as you wish. When reporting a maintenance issue, there are guidance and advice pop-ups which appear. These can help occupiers with two things. Firstly, they can help to filter out issues which should not be coming through to you. For example, issues such as mildew in the bathroom, batteries and smoke alarms, and light bulbs and light fittings. These are all examples which are occupier responsibilities and should not be reported through to you. So, if an occupier wanted to report an issue such as mildew, they may use the search bar like this to find the issue. Here you can see an example of a guidance and advice pop-up explaining to the occupier that this falls as part of their responsibilities to resolve. Therefore, the issue is then filtered out, leaving you the time which you need to deal with issues which require your attention. On average, our pop-ups can help to filter out 20% of all issues, really saving you time. Secondly, guidance and advice pop-ups can help with first-time fixes. A good example here would be a boiler issue. So, if the occupier clicks on heating, electricity powered heating, electric boiler, they come to five final options. Boiler damaged, boiler leaking, boiler noisy, boiler not working, or other. For this example, they are going to select boiler not working. This guidance and advice pop-up provides the occupier with some checks which they can carry out at home to see if they can resolve the issue rather than reporting it through to you. All of our guidance and advice pop-ups are completely customizable. You can add information, photos, videos and GIFs. If the occupier still needs to report the issue then they will click on continue. The beauty of FixedFlow is that you will receive a one report with all of the information on it, meaning that as quickly and efficiently as possible, you can get the issue resolved for the occupier. Therefore, there will be certain information required by the occupier in order for them to report the maintenance issue through to you. On the majority of issues, the occupier will be asked if the issue is communal or private. However, this will not be asked on issues which are purely communal, such as a lift or a bin store. In this example, the location of the issue is requested and it is mandatory that the occupier selects either private or communal here. It is an appliance and the appliance type is required. This is automatically generated based on the category that the occupier chose. 
They will also need to add the make, model and the fault detail. These are all required fields. As the occupier begins to type in the make, options appear to help them with spelling. The serial number and the number of flights of stairs to the appliance are optional fields. Once all of the mandatory fields have been filled in, the occupier can then click on Next to go to step two of this three-step process. Step two allows them to add up to 10 photos, videos or audio files. This provides you with a more complete report. Step three is where the occupier must fill in all of their contact details and some additional information before submitting the issue. Please note that when they add their address, there are different options for sourcing addresses, which you can select from within the agent side on Fixflow under Setup and Settings. Next, the occupier must fill in their contact details. The required fields are their first name, surname, email address and telephone number. Finally, they can add in additional information. They must let you know whether or not they'd like to be present when the works are carried out. They can add any further notes if they wish, and you can add additional fields, such as pet information, alarm information, and parking restrictions. These can all be turned on in your setup and settings. The occupier can let you know whether or not there is a vulnerable occupier at the property. By clicking on vulnerable occupier, they are given a definition of this. If this box is checked, then this will be added onto the report. They can tick to have their details remembered for next time. This is not recommended on a shared PC, but it can be quicker for them reporting issues going forward. They must agree to the Fixflow terms and conditions. These state that Fixflow are not responsible for resolving the maintenance issue and that we are simply a hub which they're reporting the maintenance issue on. Once they are happy with everything, they can click on Submit Issue. Here, they will be able to double check the report before they confirm this. Once submitted, they will then be taken to this page where they can see the IS number. This is created by Fixflow and it is unique to this particular issue. They can click here to report another issue and fill out a quick Fixflow survey by clicking here. When a new issue is reported, two emails are automatically sent out. One will go to you and the other is sent to the occupier. You will receive an email to let you know that a new issue has now been reported. This will have all of the details of the job on it so that you can progress the issue as quickly and efficiently as possible for the occupier. This will come complete with a time and date stamped PDF document. The occupier will also receive an email regarding the issue. This email will keep you compliant with Section 21 as it provides them with an adequate response. An adequate response is you responding in writing. Within 14 days, to let the occupier know what you are going to do along with the estimated timescales. This is all covered off for you in this email. Their email also contains the time and date stamped PDF document. Thank you for watching.